Hi guys, uh, I don't know when will I be posting this video, but I just got out of the shower. I'm on the way to the hospital, so I need to check. I need to get my arm checked. You see that? That's what happened after the incident. Uh, it's swollen and bit my lip. I have like minor bruises on my back, but I'm currently at the hospital right now. I think major is just that my elbow is really swollen right now and. Well, yeah, hopefully everything will be good. Just finished doing the x-ray and I don't know, hopefully everything just goes well. By the time I upload this video, everything will be resolved and okay, so... Doctor said I have no fractures, but I have the x-ray right here. Uh, I just have a few soft tissue damages which will take around a week or two to heal so let's just hope for the best Beshi all right okay, so I'm back in the Philippines uh, I just needed to see my family after what happened and yeah I'm going to the doctor today for a CT scan and I'll just have everything checked not just my elbow but uh, so far it is still yeah it still has marks but good thing the swelling has subsided a bit emotionally and mentally i'm, I'm not stable but hopefully we'll get through this and uh, we'll be back in normal uh... i just want to apologize if ever i won't be able to upload any videos uh in the coming days weeks rather uh yeah so I will tell you guys a story about it, but uh, in the near future, so hopefully I'll be back in vlogging and traveling and all that stuff, so yeah, just enjoy my other vlogs, just go through them, and I'll see you guys very soon, bye, <laughs> oh, good vibes, appreciate life, smile, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, I was supposed to upload it. Just to inform you guys that I won't be uploading contents for, for, for quite some time. But I just decided to just keep it under wraps and, you know, just go on with normal life. And like what I said, I think this is the right time to tell you guys what happened to me. Why was I injured for, for quite a while? My left arm, as you can see from my previous videos, uh, it's totally fine now. Let me just share you guys the visual representation of what happened to me. Right, this is a chair. This is me. I'm seated on the chair. This is an aircraft. This is what happened. I flew out. Something like that. Being in that moment is... It's unexplainable. It's like facing death. Your mind goes in a state of shock. You're blank. But at the same time, everything just everything just flashes inside your head. You think about your family, your friends, and you ask yourself, are you still alive? I wish no one would get to experience that again. You're, you're falling, Baymax. After, after I've collected my thoughts and my head that, dude, you're still alive. Right then I realized that I have injuries, my, my back is hurting, and you know, I'm rendering first aid to myself. But then again, you're there for a duty, you're there for a purpose. And I can say that I'm one of the lucky few who are able to experience this and actually perform my duty and do my purpose on board. To do what I was trained to do. It's beyond serving drinks preparing meals, attending call buttons. It's beyond the routine. I've developed a certain love for the job. To be able to feel how important we are inside the aircraft, especially from the passengers. In a way or two, I'm glad that I experienced that because it opened my eyes to new things and 
I've realized a lot. Question starts to pop up in my head. Are you scared to fly again? It is traumatic, yeah, but it did not make me want to stop flying. It made me want to fly even more. Stepping inside the aircraft after that incident, takeoff landing, slight turbulence would scare the hell out of me. My heart is just pounding, but you know, it's about overcoming your fears, learning from it, and it's all about fighting and moving on. It's about dropping whatever is bad and picking up the good things that you can learn from. This video does not intend to discourage you guys, all right? Apply for the job, achieve your goal, and remember, you are there for a purpose. If you still want to be in this industry, go for it, and I still do. It's just that I realized things and decided to be home-based. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna fly again. I will, and my wings will soar higher with the colors of and blue. Wow. <laughs> if you have uh, questions or anything, just put it down in the comment section below. I'm not gonna ask you to like this video because, uh, like what I said, it's just not about the likes. What's more important for me is that I was able to impart my story, my lesson, and the things that I've learned from my experience to you guys. That's what's more important. That's, that's what's importanter, right? I'm just ending this story by saying, uh, smile always, be happy, have a positive outlook in life, and good vibes than tayo lagi, alright? Say bye-bye, BMX. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cover it. Yes. Ooh.